Right, Jane, <laughs> you think that parents should ask their children's consent when they are babies to change their nappy. Is this not sexualizing the interaction between a parent and child? Because um, actually, yeah. it's just a parent's job to change a nappy, isn't it? It's just a normal, natural, innocent thing. I, I'm very confused about how this would become a sexual issue. So, for example... Because you're talking about consent, which is implying but, but that parents is, are doing something no, no, which no, no, is no. non-consensual. There's nothing sexual about consent. If I was to say, oh, Suzanne, it's really lovely to meet you, I would love to give you a hug, mm. I would wait for you to communicate with me because whether that's about... two adults... Well, it's even a... more important to do it with a baby. You're building a but baby's baby brain. Can't respond. And also have, you had, you're have, building... have you got kids? Of course. I've worked many, with children. Have you got? I've got one and I've fostered and I've Talk been a child Talk me through the conversation minder. you had with your three-month-old baby about consent. How did it go? It, it, it would have gone. I just need to change your nappy now yeah. to make you comfortable. And your three-month-old baby said what in response? Of course, <laughs> we would know that a three-month-old baby can't speak. So Babies communicate mm. all the time. Now, how did Not... your baby tell you that it was giving consent? A boy or girl? A boy. Or gender fluid? Which one? A boy. A boy. So how did your little boy, aged three months, communicate to you that it was OK to change his nappy? It's, it's not the OK, it's the respect. How do they give consent? Well, that you can see in a body, in, in the body energy of any so, so human what would he, being... Talk me through it. Show me what he would well, do. Well, if, if a baby um, is upset... Yeah. Then you will see tension, a body arch, Jane, something like that. Jane, plenty of babies don't like it when you change their nappy. I mean, we've all, as parents, had to change the nappy yeah, of a child course. who doesn't. Of but the, course. But it, you, you have to override that for exactly. the hygiene it's, and it's safety not, of the of baby. Of course, you not do, changing the nappy but is abusive. Of course, and nobody would leave a, a baby in a dirty nappy. Did your, did your, did your son ever say no to you? It's introducing the idea that I respect you as a human being. So there's going to be a momentary right. acknowledgement of I see you and you matter. Did you ever not in the change same your? Did way, you ever not, not change if your... you were an adult okay. and you were immobile and non-verbal and Got somebody it. had to touch you and clean you, you would like somebody to say... We're fully grown adults who can communicate. Is it OK if I touch you now? Even right, let, me bring in, let me bring in Hillary. Look, this sounds completely nuts to me, yeah, right? I... No baby aged three months old can possibly communicate anything about having a nappy change. And if you don't change its nappy because it doesn't give you consent because it wobbles its head in a certain way, then that is, I'm afraid, abusive parenting. Exactly. You can't leave a baby in a dirty nappy. And the, the thing is, consent, children can't give consent. That's why we have an, No, that's why we have an age of consent, because children under the age of 16 can't consent. So we have to, as responsible parents, we have to decide for them what's good for them. And as, as good a responsible parents, parent, you want to raise your child to know that their body belongs to them. Mm. Think of the NSPCC pants campaign. Yes. It all hinges right, okay. on. So let's take, okay. Okay. All right, all right. So, Jane, Jane, just to clarify, because viewers will be watching this going, how do I do this with my three month old mm. baby. What are the signs they should look for of a baby not giving consent for its nappy to be changed? So, so you know, it, it's just looking for that moment of respect. Well, what is that moment? Offer. Show me, what, what does a baby so do? So, for a baby, there'll be a tiny relaxation. We Come here, dirty nappy, boom, change, new nappy. Your way is, so I'm going to be the... Just a millisecond I'm going to be the father here. You're one of my children for a moment, OK? So you're three months old, <laughs> you don't speak a word of anything, you just gurgle, you break wind, you I'm defecate and you eat, right? I'm communicating with you non-verbally all the time, yes. OK. I would like to change your nappy. <laughs> oh, there your shoulder's slump. Yes, that's well, a relaxation. So, so if a baby's shoulder's slump, well, it is refusing ways. consent. So no, what no, do... no, no, that was giving... <laughs> Are you giving I... consent? I'm no, sorry. No, no, all, all Looking for Sorry, I got it wrong. So the signal. The yeah, shoulder... that's a bit of a worry. Isn't so it? the shoulder sloping <laughs> is consent. Well, it may be in one baby. I would every human. You mean being... another baby? It might be the opposite. All How do we know? All you're doing is you're. How do I know as a parent? You're tuning... whether it's giving me consent or because not? Because you tune into your baby from birth onwards. Right. If you're not on your phone all the time. Okay. So. What, um, and it, you read your if that baby. Was consent, you read their what would cries, be the? What would be read... the sign for not not giving consent from a three-month-old? Well, as it would in an adult. It would be a more of a tension. Tension. 
So just pause. It's not to say, of course we have to change babies' nappies. That would be lunacy to right. expect. But not, the problem know, being that some babies, babies a, a shoulder safe. shrug could be yes, others it could be no. You know your baby. And the tensing could be yes or no as well. Yeah, Quite it's confusing, the joy it? of being a parent that you learn your baby to as, as your and baby if your, grows. If your baby doesn't give consent with its with its tension, and it's one of the babies where the tension means no, not yes, even though it can be yes. You learn not your no. own baby. What do you do? Do you leave your baby to rot in its nappy? I've made that very it's... clear that you would never do that. So what would you do? You just wait for a moment. What if it's like three days? But a baby that's just of three ridiculous. months isn't that's Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so that part of our conversation is ridiculous. Well, uh, OK, a baby Hillary, and a... Hillary, I, just, I mean, this to me is the stuff of utter insanity. What is going on in the world where we're like even... Safeguarding children. Yeah. But, it's no, not but, about safeguarding okay, children. Okay. Hillary, there is a serious issue here, yeah. which is that we are trying to deal with children growing up knowing that their bodies are their own. Yes, and that's fine with an older child, but a child, a little baby, isn't aware that it's, it's an, an individual until they're like 18 months, I think it is, or around 18 mm. months. When they look in the mirror, they're not aware that they're yeah. looking at themselves. No. Okay, look